Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Effectively. Today we are going to discuss a very different topic from the other topics that is encode words or you can say that encoding words. Viewing from class 12th point of view, let's see that the class 12th and class 10th IAC students please watch this video till the end because this is an important video and you I have seen that 6 out of 10 times this question has been asked that write a program to encode the following word in the in this format so you can see here that the difference between these words that if you input yash you will get the output cewl and you can see the difference of the sky values in these words is of 4 you can see four words are they are four words in front of four words after that's why why is let's say why and then you will add four words then what it would be y z a b and you will get the fifth word that will be c so you can see there are four words ahead so let's see how you have to do this when you will add four words one two three and the fourth word is c let's make this a also let's see a a and when you will add four words b plus c plus g and e you will see that the fourth word is e so in this way you have to see what is the difference between these two given words or the what is the difference between the each letter of the given two words i have wrote i have written a blue j program and you can see first let's see the practical output what will be the practical output if i run this program on the blue j id i have made this program and we will compile this you can see there are no compile time errors let's close this and run make a object and after this object creation i will call my object and within this i will write the same string that i was writing yash and you can see the output is same c e w l now let's come and discuss what happens behind the scenes or what happens behind the computer again i will take the same example it will be y a s h and it will save the character scar ch i have taken a for loop and it will run from i0 to i less than length what's the length of the string let's see 0 1 2 and 3 the length of the string is 4 so the loop will go till 3 okay now let's see ch is equals to s dot caret i let's see what happens here ch is equals to s dot caret i when the value of i will be 0 we will store ch is equals to s dot caret 0 what is the value of caret 0 it's y so ch is equals to y and what you will do now here is going to be a type casting what will happen type casting we are converting the character first into an integer type we will add four numbers to it because you have seen the difference of these number words is four and then again we will convert it back to the character now let's see what is the sky value of ch what is the sky value it's y and if you go to the y sky value when you will see it's 60 to 90 okay it's going to be 65 to 90 and when you will add c y what is the value of y it will be 89 let's see and when you will add 89 plus 4 what it will be 93 and it will check if ch what is the value of ch care ch it will again take back to care let's see what happens here it will be care 93 let's see there is no 93 it will check if ch is greater than 90 yes it is greater than 90 what it will do ch 40 will first 93 minus 26 what will happen let's subtract this it will be 93 and you will minus let's see 93 minus 26 it will be 1 and let's add 3 to it 7 1 and it will be 8 it will be 67 67 okay it will take this 67 then convert it into character type 67 character type we know that it is starting from 65 66 67 a b and 67 will be c so it will print c you will get your output here c again the loop will go up and the value it will check i will be now 1 when the value of i will be 1 it will come ch is equal to s dot caret i what is the value of i i value is 1 so it will take ch will take now a the value of a now first it will convert 
a into integer type you know the sky value of a is 65 now 65 plus 4 what it will be 69 now it will convert 69 back to character you know 69 is a character let's see we were here 67 now let's take a 68 and 69 it's d and e it will be less than so this condition would not be executed this time 69 e it's not e so it will be printing e c e now it's back to s let's see s now the value of i will be 2 when the value of i will be 2 it will go ch is equal to s dot caret i what's the value of i it's 1 so it will take s at 2 s at it's 2 So let's see. It's here. C H is equals to S, and when the value of S, it will check. It will first convert into character type, and then again the whole process will be repeated again and again, and finally you will get W and then L. You will see that S plus four, P Q R S T U V and W W is the fourth word, and definitely fourth word W will be printed. Again the loop will go back, and then it will be 3 it will check okay it is correct less than less than length length is 4 so it is true again it will go then it will take h h and then h and we will add four characters to it and then l will print printed this is how the whole loop will go i will recommend you that you should go and try this program in your blue j ide and you can also make a dry run like i have made this so that you get more clear concepts And if you like this video, please go and subscribe to the Code Effectively channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Thank you for watching the video.